Hi my friends, how are you? This will be another Wikipedia video. I'll be eating Moldasche. Moldaschen. I looked it up on Wikipedia and it says Moldasche, which would be singular. Moldaschen are more. You never eat just one Moldasche. I wanted to show you my apron. I had this apron when I was 14 and I still have it. I had it when I was living in Germany. Um, I'll be reading from Wikipedia, like I already said, and my husband is so kind to help me with the food, bringing me the food, so I have to elevate the food. Um, I'm going to have to see what you can see. I hope I'm in the camera. Um, I have my photographer here and he is helping me. Um, I'll be putting this uh, little suitcase under here and I'll be making this, uh, taking this in one take because I'm not editing right now. Um, so I have this, let me see what you can see. Um, I think that's probably fine. My husband is going to bring the food. The Moldasche. Moldaschen. I'll tell you what Moldaschen are. He's going to bring me the food now. I think I'm going to eat it with a spoon. There we go. My grandmother used to make Moldaschen. And I would come and visit her and she had just made Moldaschen. And they were bigger than these ones. I don't know if you can see them. Um, let's see if you can see them. My photographer left. I'm just going to point it down, I guess. We're getting situated here. Can you actually see it? I'll show you. I think that may be better. So let's start eating. Mmm. I never had vegetarian Moldaschen while I lived in Germany. And I never had fried ones, but I had some in broth, in Brühe. That's what we say in German, Brühe. I have your bowl over there. Let's eat together. I'm glad you came at the right time as I was making them. Guten Appetit. Mm. It reminds me of the time when I visited my grandmother that time. And she was just cooking them, just had them ready. They were bigger, bigger than these ones. And she put beef in, 100% beef. Um, these ones are ve vegetarian ones. They have vegetables in them. God is good to me. He always gives me enough food.
and I always have enough to share some food. Mm. I remember my grandmother would put in cut the onions really, really, really small and put them in there. It's so delicious. I miss my grandmother. She was a loving woman. Right now I'm talking about my other grandmother, my father's mother. I usually talk about my mother's mother. She was also very loving. Like I said, this is another Vicky Edia video. I'm from Swabia, from the Schwabenland, which is in Baden-Württemberg. It's kind of like a state of Germany. And usually um, you don't say, uh, <coughs> my husband is here too, <coughs> as you know, and he's trying to be quiet, I guess, but he will be fine. Sometimes you enjoy your food so much that you just, it just goes down the wrong throat. That is just the way it is. So. Where was I? Usually you call the mouth of an animal a mole. A mole. You usually don't say that to a person. You say mund to a person's mouth in Germany. But in Schwäbisch you can call it a mole. Now, Wikipedia doesn't mention this here. They're talking about an animal mouth. Or maybe they don't know that in German, in, I mean in Swabia, uh, they can, you can call a mund a mole. So there you got it, a mole tasche. Maybe drink something. <coughs> it's a live show. So, <coughs> always tell the other person they're gonna be alright, you know. You won't believe it. I lost it. There we go. I had to sign in again. Um. A tasche is usually a bag. Mole tasche. There you got it. Now today I'm using my other camera that doesn't zoom in as well. Um, it's not as sharp. It always goes in and out of focus too. I don't know why. I don't understand it. But look. Like I say, usually they're like four times as big, or at least twice as big, that I know. They're actually pretty good with the vegetables in it too. I like beef, but I like this vegetables too. I remember my grandmother, I think I, my other grandmother at least, I know, 
She liked to put nutmeg in it, as far as I remember. Maultasche is a traditional German dish that originated in the region of Swabia in Baden-Württemberg. It consists of an outer layer of pasta dough. You all right? Which encloses a, f a filling traditionally consisting of minced meat, smoked meat, spinach, breadcrumbs and onions and flavored with various herbs and spices. E.g. pepper, parsley and nutmeg. What does E.g. mean? We don't see that. For example, <coughs> Motashen are similar to the Italian ravioli, but are typically larger in size, each Motashe being approximately 8 to 12 centimeters. That's not, that's not 8 to 12 centimeters here. Yeah. No, that's all right. Three to five inches. No, that's all right. Um, never mind. Across. They are almost invariably square or rectangular in shape. Mmm. And yummy. Mm. I'll show you this. I hope it shows it. Type pasta. Place of origin, Germany. Region or state, Swabia, Baden-Württemberg. That's where I am from. I learned something tonight I never knew all my life. I left Germany when I was 18. Now I'm 57 years old. And I never knew that about the Moltaschen, let me tell you. On 22 October 2009, the European Union, not that one though, the European Union recognized Moltaschen, Schwäbische Moltaschen, or Schwäbische Suppenmoltaschen as a regional specialty, a regional specialty, and remarked that the dish is significant to the cultural heritage of Baden-Württemberg. This measure provides protection to the integrity of the dish, mandating the genuine Moltaschen are only produced in Swabia, a historical region that was incorporated into the modern German states of Baden-Württemberg and Bavaria. I'm still gonna tell you about what I didn't know about. Mm. I think my grandmother would buy bones with meat on it from the butcher and make a beautiful broth. But she boiled later on uh, with a mold hashing in. As far as I remember, they put schnittlauch in two chives. I hope I'm in the camera. I can't even see myself. I decided to buy myself. I decided to buy myself 
a video camera. I thought that would be the best thing to do. Okay, let me tell you. In Swabia, Moltaschen are the traditional dish associated with the Lenten uh, commemoration of um, um, Maundy, Thursday, and Good Friday. During Lent, Catholics and other Christians are encouraged to refrain from eating meat. However, Moltaschen are hum humorously associated with these days because the meat in the dish is concealed under the pasta dough and cannot be seen by God. <laughs> that is so funny. Don't they know God? Don't they know that God sees everything? There are no secrets that God doesn't know about. Mm -hmm. Among the inect um, um, hold on. Mm. Anecdotal. Huh? Anecdotal. Anecdotal stories regarding the origin of the dish. One claims that Moltaschen were created by the Cistercian, Cistercian, or Cistercian, I don't know how to say it, monks of Molbrunn Abbey, for the purpose, for that purpose. Indeed, a Swabian German nickname for the dish Helgutsbeschäsele means small god cheaters one um then um then i already said that about the motation in the bag and stuff and the animals what they call it a uh, mouth from an animal a mole but we swabian schwaben schwaben uh, is swabians We Swabians We're Schwaben Sagen Maul zum Mund We say Maul to mouth Even though it's not an animal Funny isn't it? And we say Moldasche. Oh, oh, my dear Moldasche, schmeck it so good. Mmm. What they do? Grandmother, they taste so good. That's my Oma, my grandmother. German name. I hope you can try another Mickey Etia video for me. I want to do very many more Mickey Etia videos. My husband came up with the idea because I always like to read from Wikipedia and when I always want to learn about some foods that I'm eating or do you say food? foods different kinds mm. Broth is brühe. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye, my friends. I love you. I hope.
hope you can see me now when I'm leaning forward to eat. Mm -hmm. In Germany, I sometimes went like this, but sometimes all the time. I love you, my friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.